they only said it was going to be 12 to 15 feet, I think. And it was well, well bigger than that. The mindset of the big wave surfer is so different. They're out there to get the craziest wave ever ridden, and they're either going to get the most incredible ride, the greatest thrill of their life, or they're going to take the most death-defying wipeout that they could have ever imagined taking. You're going, holy shit, like, he might, he might be dead. North Shore native Colony Chapman had to be brought back to life after a bad wipeout. Growing up as a kid, it's like, how would you want to die? For some people, having to worry about your life while you're surfing makes surfing not fun. And for other people, that's the only thing that makes surfing fun. Billabong started promoting the hell out of it with Romana's jet ski going over the falls and the Tahitian government freaked out. There's wonders in the world, you know? If you're a surfer, that's like one of the wonders of the world. We're getting the news of this swell, this massive, massive swell coming. On the maps, it looks incomprehensible. Really, again? Another huge swell. We started hearing reports that big wave surfers were starting to all fly in for this swell. All the greatest big wave riders show up and are going ham. A set came and broke on the outer ledge. You couldn't get your fucking board ready fast enough. This is insane. <laughs> it was like the Super Bowl of surfing. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. First thing we saw when we got to the lineup is the biggest waves anybody's ever seen. I'm in Fiji all the time, and I've never seen a wave like that about it. The noise that it made coming down the reef was out of control. It was, it was rushing down the reef and people are just scratching to get out of the way. There could be a 200 footer behind us for all I know and we're all dead. It's the white rhino. It's good to like be in awe of it, like, the power and the beauty and you know just God's creation right there alive and in effect.